Well, if you've never heard of Wardenberg syndrome, you wouldn't be alone. It is a rare genetic condition and one our next guest has been living with since she was born. Steph Sionti took to her YouTube channel in 2015 to talk about it. 9.3 million views later, it is still one of her most popular videos. Steph is here this morning with a look at what Wardenberg syndrome is and why she's encouraging others to embrace and celebrate what makes you different. Welcome to your morning. Thank you so much. Good, I'm happy to be here. Good to have you with us. First of all, explain to everybody out there, what is Wardenburg syndrome? Uh, well, Wardenburg syndrome is a combination of traits that you inherit genetically. It's a genetic mutation that runs in my family. Um, one in 40,000 people is generally the number of people that have it. And it affects everything from your facial structure uh, to the pigmentation. So for me, it, it affects my eye color, my hair color. I have this white patch here, some patches of skin, um, as well as it, it can make you deaf <laughs> and I'm deaf in one ear. Uh, I have cousins that are fully deaf and sometimes people are not deaf at all. So, When did you know the reason for your facial features and some of the things that you've described was because of Wardenberg, that there was an actual name for it? I actually was the first one in my family to know. Really? Uh, when I was born, I had my patch of white hair and the doctors were concerned it was a tumor or something. So they began investigating and they realized that my family's always had this for generations and uh, that there was a name for it. And from a young age, my, my mom made me very aware of what it was. And um, I didn't really understand that I did look different until school when I was getting bullied very viciously. And it, it took a lot to come to terms with that at a young age. You decided to take to YouTube yes. as a platform to be able to inform other people about it. 9.3 million views later, that is an incredible amount. What has been some of the reaction? What are some of the comments that people say to you when they're sharing about your story? Um, well, there's two very distinct comments that I, that I remember, and that's from people without Wardenberg syndrome and then for those with. Um, and for people without, typically a positive reaction I get is um, almost gratitude for talking about something that they wouldn't have otherwise encountered. And it, I really enjoy seeing people um, move to embrace what makes them different, even if it's not Wardenberg syndrome, because of a story that I've told. So that's one very good reaction I get. And then another is young people with Wardenberg syndrome thanking me for providing representation, which is something I never had. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to provide that for somebody else. And that, that means a lot to me. Some of the comments are, but you look so normal. Yeah. How does that land with you? Um, it's, I have mixed feelings because I would have loved to hear that when I was growing up, but the reality is I didn't. And uh, sometimes when people insist that I look normal, it, it makes me feel like they're erasing something very important to my upbringing and my past. Um, because that pain of bullying and, and growing up very isolated socially was, it's very formative for me. Um, so I try to embrace that, that darker aspect of it as well. Yeah. You talk about hyperventilating when you used to look mm. in the mirror. You didn't feel very good about it. You were bullied, as you mentioned. You know, how did you get from that person hyperventilating in the mirror to the person you are now who is confident expressing and showing themselves to the world? There was a turning point when I was around 12 years old. Um, I realized in my community I was going to be bullied for everything no matter what I did. And mm. I, I tried really hard to assimilate and to conform to what people wanted, but it wasn't physically possible because of Wardenberg syndrome. And I had this moment when I was about 12 years old where I just, I got angry and I told them, you know what, I don't care what you think. I know who I am and that's all that matters. And from there it kind of snowballed and now I love my face, but it, <laughs> it, it, took, it took a long time to get there as, as a child and a lot of struggle. Uh, I'm so glad you came on your morning to tell us you. about where you are now and where you were yes. then. We'll have you back again. Steph, thanks for being here. Thank you so much.